tuseme ile siku umemkosea bwanako alafu akuchape Unatoka ama unafanya nini? Unamwomba msamaa. Ati unamwomba msamaa? Nisamee sitarudia tena mme wangu. Na yeye ndio ameku na yeye ndio amekuchapa. Na yeye ndio amekuchapa. Ndio, unataka ufanye nini? Umchape na yeye. Si utoke. Utoke ndo wapi? Na wewe ni bibi ya watu. Surudi kwenu. Kwani ukafanya nini? Kitanda yako ilingolewa ikatupwa nje. <laughs> Unarudi kwenu kufanya nini? When asked what culture is, most people say that it is the way of life of a group of people. For centuries, Taita women have been known for their exemplary beauty, marked by their light florid skin and curvaceous bodies. Their submissive nature has seen their marriages stand the test of time, and their cooking skills passed on by older generations has seen them garner praise far and beyond. For this episode of Women and Culture, my team and I travel to Taita Taveta to visit a group of women known as Chapakazi Mwazindika who have defied all odds to become the only all-female group that plays traditional drums and folk songs as a way of fending for their children. As I interacted with them to find the role of a Taita woman in the society, we cooked their traditional meal known as kimanga. I also made them loaded hot dogs and we ended the day in song and dance. Kama umemkosea anakupiga na tena ndio sasa anakuweka mimba sasa akili yako itulie maana yake kichwa yako inataka kuwa wazimu. Na ile siku mume wako amekuja, yuataka na we utaki. Kwa nini utaki? Ati ulienda kufanya nini hapo? Kwa hiyo nyumba. Hai. Madam Victoria, nataka kunifanya niwe mwanamke wa kitaita halisi. Nataka nikufunge mwanangu uwe mwanamke wa kitaita halisi, upendeze, uwe smart nao. Sasa nikufanya hivi sasa nimekuwa mwanamke wa kitaita, nimekuwa mwanamke wa kitaita kabisa 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 na kunapendeza. Haya, jina mtanipa lipi? Jina tapatia Muhoi. 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 Muhoi na maanisha nini? Muhoi ni msichana ambaye ameolewa, sasa yeye anataka kutolewa kwa nyumba ambaye amewekwa miezi sita. Sasa yeye anataka kutolewa kwa nyumba ndio sasa tuite hii ngoma ipigwe ndio sasa Muhoi atolewe sasa watu wa dance na mme wake yuko pale yuo mwangalia vizuri alafu yuo tokezea pale yuo kuja yuo mshika mpenzi wake alafu wana dance hapo tumekutengeneza kweli kweli tuseme mme muombea ndoa sasa eh kabisa Mungu amsaidie sasa sisi ni wataita asilia kwa sababu hata vyakula venyewe tukiingia kwenye vyakula tunapika vyakula vya kiasilia ambapo ni kama mhogo huu ehe Chukua mhogo huo uchambue. Njoo uketi hapa nkuonyeshe. Vile ambavyo yashambuliwa. Eh, vile inashambuliwa. Eh. Sasa hivi ndo viti vya vya kitamaduni. Hivi ni viti vya kitamaduni hivi vya kuketi. Sio mambo ya sofa. Hapana, eh. unakalia mbao. <laughs> mbao kabisa. Mbao hiyo. <laughs> okay, sasa unapasua. Pasua tu hivi umenye. Eh, menya. Tuanisha tu hiyo mbanda. Eh, pole pole. Uh -huh. Hadi iishe yote. Eh, hadi iishe yote. Haya, wacha nikuulize. Eh. Sasa kama hii mhogo, eh. nani alikufunza wewe kutengeneza? Nilikuta wakina nyanya wakifanya hivyo, wakipika hizo. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nakaa na nyanya yangu, tunaenda shambani, ananiambia twende tukachimbe mhogo nikiwa mdogo. Tunaenda tunachimba mhogo, tukija, ananiambia aketi, tumenye, tunamenya. Sasa tukimenya ile mhogo, ananiambia katakata, osha, saa hiyo kumbe amebandika maharagwe mimi sijajua mm. anaambia hii ndio chakula ya leo tunapika sasa pasua katikati kwa hivyo kwa kitaita kuanisha bado usiache hata kitu ukiacha hii maganda hey. ni mbaya haifai kukula oh. e, unakisha umetua hiyo maganda yote sasa pasua katikati <laughs> e, hivyo hivyo tu hadi ifike mwisho eh hadi ifike mwisho itawanishike hivi mm -hmm. alafu kuna hiyo hiyo katikati hiyo hii hapa e, kuna kamzizi hapo unatoa unatoa 
Ama bado hii hapa hadi e, nitoe ambaye e, kwa hapa. Eh e. toa hiyo mpaka utoe hiyo. Uwezi kupika kimanga ikiwa ita, utasikia ukitafuna hivi mm. kuna kitu unatafuna na kimanga inatakana kuwa soft. Kwa kimanga sasa ni nini? Ni chakula mchanganyiko huu muogo huu. Amara. Umetoka? Eh umetoka. <laughs> kama msichana unatakiwa kuwa aje kuna ile masharti ambayo labda unapewa unaambiwa ukiwa msichana lazima uwe hivi lazima uwe hivi ni masharti kama yapi ukiwa msichana unajua sasa ukiwa msichana kama we ni mtoto wa kike lazima uwe unazunguka na mzazi yote wa kike hmm. kama ukiwa unaenda mtoni unaenda na mama ama na dada mkubwa ama na shosho eh nyanya unaenda kuteka maji kwenda kwa kuni kwenda shambani Unaambiwa lazima uzunguke na, na wazazi vile kwa sababu we ni mtoto wa kike mm. unaweza danganywa na mvulana unaona sasa ni lazima ulindwe vile kwa sababu uje kuolewa kwa ndoa iliyokamilika mm-hmm. unazuiwa kuzunguka ovyo ovyo unalindwa hivyo e, mpaka inafika wakati umefika msichana sasa ukifika msichana kuna ile sasa unawekwa una, una wanasema wasichana wangapi hapa kijijini kwetu wamefika umri huu mm. ni wasichana watatu wa nne wa tano alafu sasa mnafanywa kile kitamaduni sasa cha kuwekwa ndani mnawekwa ndani kuna shinda kuna lala ngoma hapo kuna vitu fulani wanaenda ku walikuwa wanaabudu wanaenda mstuni mbali kabisa nani wanaenda mstuni au wazazi wenu sasa uh-huh. kuna watu fulani wanatumwa mm. wanaenda mstuni huko kwenda kuchukua vitu ambavyo vinaitwa ngasu. Ngasu ni siri ya kuja kumfumba yule msichana awe na siri kwa maisha yake. Awe na siri. Awe na siri. Kwa mfano unaweza ona kitu kama watoto wa sahii akiona kitu tu akikutana na mwenzake tayari anamwambia nimeona kitu fulani hivi na hivi au nimeona mama mmoja si hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. Sasa kitu kama hiyo watoto wa zamani walikuwa wanafunzwa hata aone kitu chochote kwa nyumba yao au kwa jirani haizi toa mdomo aseme. Oh kuficha siri. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Oh sasa ndo nimekuelewa. Sasa walikuwa wanafunzwa kuficha siri kabla hawajaolewa. Na jinsi atakayeenda kwa mme wake ataweza kukaa na mme wake kwa adabu na heshima. Anafundishwa pale kiasi kama anaweza kaa miezi sita akiwa kwa nyumba. Alafu sasa wakati anawekwa pale sheria zenyewe ziko. Kama leo ndio wamekesha kwa hiyo sherehe wamewekwa ndani wanajengewa nyumba yao hivyo anakaa tu pale ndani kila mtoto ana sherehe kishaisha kila mtoto anakaa kwa nyumba kwao alafu anawekwa kwa hivyo ukifika tuseme kama ni umri upi hmm. maana yake tuseme 15 20 hiyo umri upi ulikuwa sasa ndio wachukuliwa kwenda kuposwa watoto wa zamani hmm. walikuwa wakifika umri kama miaka 17 18 hmm. hapo sasa ndio wanaweza poswa na kuposwa kwenyewe ilikuwa inatumia process hii. Msichana anatumwa, yani kama kijana amempenda yule msichana, anamtuma msichana mwenzake ili wanaelewana. Anamwambia tafadhali naomba ngutumie. Nenda kwa yule msichana mwambie mimi ninamtaka. Na akikubali unrudishie ujumbe. Anaenda anamzungumzisha yule msichana, anamweleza yule msichana akimkubali yule kijana, anarudisha ujumbe. After kurudisha ujumbe, sasa ndo anamwambia sasa chukua shilingi 20 hii, nenda umwambie mimi nimemfu nimemfunga mchumba ni wangu huyu. Kwa hivyo kitambo hivyo umeshafungwa. Sasa na 20. 20. Na sasa kijana ndo msichana akipewa sasa ana akikata hiyo 20. Haizi kataa kama amempenda yule mvulana. Okay. Eh. Ukimpenda mvulana lazima unakubali kila jambo, si ndio? A lot goes into the preparation process. So after peeling the cassavas, they are washed and later placed on the fire to cook. Since cassavas and beans take a lot of time to boil, the women were gracious enough to preboil everything for us, so we went straight into the mashing process. <laughs> sasa ndio hii chakula usonge sasa. Mchanganyiko wa manga na mgulu. Alafu unatega, sufuria utakamata hivi ndio ili uweze kuigeuza. Sikilia na miguu. Mm-hmm. Eh. Hey. Hivyo. <laughs> Paka mama ujihami. <laughs> Jihami mgoi. <laughs> we, we, we. Sasa ukishapawa ile pesa mm. shilingi 20 mm. umefungwa. Mm. Sasa yule 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 msichana 
wazazi wa yule kijana watasema si nimempenda nime, msichana wa fulani nataka kumuoa na nishamfunga tayari sasa wale wazazi wa yule mvulana ndio wataenda kwa wazazi wa yule mke wa yule msichana eh waende waite kikao vizuri waketi watengeneze pombe ya kienyeji wanywe sasa ile wanakunywa ndio wanaambiana bana mimi nitakuwa mzazi mwenzako vijana wetu kijana wangu ameona msichana kwako kwa hivyo nitakuja kwako wakishakubaliana vile ndo sasa waende kufunga sasa safari ya kuja sasa kuzungumza mambo ya kuoa sasa manake paka waombe rusa na wenyewe wakubaliwe ndio sasa wafunge safari ya kuja kuo kuoa ndio sasa wabebane kama familia na upande wa bibi wawe familia waketi wazungumze mambo ya kuoza msichana wao mahari ya zamani hayakuwa mengi utoe ngombe tatu na kama mbuzi mbili na pombe ya wazee waje waketi wale na wanywe hiyo ilikuwa ni mahari ya zamani zamani watu hawakuweka pesa mbele hata paka pesa itoke mm. aya kitambo msichana angepata mimba mm. kabla ya kuolewa nini ilikuwa ikimfanyikia eh, ilikuwa ni aibu ni aibu ni aibu hata kwa familia yao uko wao yote inakuwa ni aibu mm -hmm. na ilikuwa inawekwa saa zingine kuna zile dance za kienyeji zile wanaenda kudansi huko mtaani mm. basi mpaka aimbwe nyimbo za kumwaibisha unaitwa nani wewe <laughs> unaitwa nani gala a jina yeah. taita Mgo, mgoi mgoi mm. sasa tutatunga nyimbo ya mgoi tumuimbe mgoi mm. alifanya makosa kwa kukosa adabu mm. ameleta mtoto kwa nyumba hiyo mm -hmm. nyimbo sasa itakuwa inaimbwa na watu mm -hmm. so unaona familia itaibika kabisa eh kwa hivyo ilikuwa ina, inapata kichapo kama hicho wanawake wa kitaita wana sifa huko mm. nje wanawake wa kitaita wana sifa mm -hmm. wanajua kuwatunza waume wao ni nini huwa wanafanya ambacho ni tofauti na wanawake wa hizi kabla zingine? Ni nini mnafanya kutunza wanaume wenu? Hiyo sasa kulingana na kule alifundwa, si alichukuliwa akawekwa ndani ya nyumba. Akafundishwa vile utakaa na mume wako, utamheshimu, familia ya mume wako uiheshimu. Paka wale familia ya mume wako wakuone, waume wako wakuone kwamba huyu ni, ni mkaza mwana wetu, anatupa heshima. Yaani unawajali kama wazazi wako unawajali na heshima yote Baba mkwe wezi msalimia hivi shikamoo hapana ah utatoa brangeti utatoa pombe ya wazee wa kunywe fine fine kwa sababu ya kumshika mkono wezi kaa hivi ukaeti umekaa hivi umejiachilia unakaa ovyo ovyo hapana hata wezi kaa mbele yake ama kula hivi akikuangalia unajificha kama ni kula ana, mzee mwenyewe anajua mkaza mwanangu yuko hapa eh mi naenda kula huko. Hawezi kula hapana. Hiyo ni heshima kubwa ilikuwa inatumika. Na kumsalimia unamsalimia vipi? Unamsalimia kwa sauti. Anguo. Anguo. Eh, unamwambia tu anguo kwa sinda. Anguo sasa kwa sinda ni ni wamsalimia. Ni baba mkwe umeshindaje? Oh, anguo ni eh, baba mkwe. Eh, eh. eh. Lakini mama mko wamsalimia. Ah, mama mko wamsalimia, mwaongea, mwala pamoja, mwafanya shughuli zenu nyote. Kwa hivyo trick ni nyinyi mnaenda nga kufunzwa mm. vile ya kuwatunza wanaume wenu mm. sasa sisi hatufunzangwi sasa mshajua mbona wanatunzanga wanaume wao kwa hivyo mwanamke tuseme mwanaume wako ameingia kwa nyumba mm. ni kweli mnawatoa anga hadi koti mnawaosha miguu hivyo ndio wao mnawafanyia eh lazima umtunze mume wako watatunzwa na nani mtunza vipi ah kumtunza mume wako akija umpokee eh mtoe koti hata kama amekuja na bakora hana koti eh. pokea ile bakora weka kwa nyumba mwambie pole kama kuna chai mtengezee mpatie chai anwe haya umwambie sasa kama umetoka mbali unajua zamani kulikuwa kwa wazee walikuwa wanaishi kando na wamama kama wazee wanaishi nyumbani wazee e, wamama wanaishi nyumbani wazee wanaishi msituni huko akichunga sasa kuna wakati inafikia yule mama anaenda kusalimia mzee Unaona? Mm -hmm. Wakati anapoenda kusalimia mzee, anamchukulia chakula, nini, kila kitu anamchukulia. Kama ni nguo chafu anaenda na beba na kuja nafua. Akifua kimaliza anapanga tena siku ya kumpelekea na nguo. Na hata ilikuwa kwa sana sana, mm -hmm. unakuta katika hali ya kupata watoto, wale wazee, wamama walikuwa wanatoka kwenda kukutana na wazee wao huko vizuri kwa sababu nyumbani kuna familia. Mm -hmm. 
ilikuwa ilikuwa anatumia hekima na heshima mm -hmm. kama anataka kupata mtoto mzee ana mama anaenda kwa mzee kule anapata mtoto wake akiwa siku zake ziko tayari anapata mtoto wake akirudi anakuja kulea mimba Oh, kwa hivyo sasa wananakule msituni wakirudi eh hey, huko mahali kwa kuchunga huko mahali mzee anaishi bomani eh hey. mm. kwa hivyo mwanaume sasa unaona hey. watoto kama wasquizi hmm. watoto wasquizi wameanza kujua life vibaya sana hata mtoto mdogo anajua tu mwanamke na mwanamume wakikaa kitu gani wanafanyaga kwa nyumba si hmm. lakini watoto wa zamani walikuwa hawajui msichana amefikisha 15 hajui mwanamume ni nini hmm. hajui kwanza kikana na mwanamume anaweza mfanya nini walikuwa hawajui hmm. eh hey kwa sababu ya zile heshima walikuwa na wanaonyeshwa katika familia. Yeah. Yeah. Kwa hivyo mwanamume kwa kitaita ni kama mfalme, yani vile Ndiyo, alikuwa anaheshimika. Na hadi wa leo bado hiyo tamaduni bado anaheshimika. Hata sasa hii wanaheshimika lakini inaenda kichanganyikana na kizungu ndani watu wameshachanganya changanya na kidotcom. Mm -hmm. Eh. Haya na kwa kitaita kulikuwa na mambo ya polygamy ile mume mwanamume anataka kuwa wake wengi eh. ilikuwa eh. sasa ilikuwa eh. ilikuwa mwanamume hmm. anaweza kuwa bibi hata tatu tatu mradi ajue tu vile atakavyowapangilia mm -hmm. na wanaume walikuwa kwa zamani walikuwa na mali ngombe ziko tele anaweza kuwa bibi huyu akaoa huyu mwingine akaoa huyu mwingine kila bibi akawa kuna boma yake mm. unaona mm na wanaishi vizuri eh lakini lazima ombe ruhusa kwa e, kwa wazee kwa wazee kwa, waze. Waze. kwa bibi aombe ruhusa kwanza kwa baba zake uh -huh. wakubali alete bibi mwingine alafu mwambie bibi yake sasa nakuleta mwenza mzako wazee kwanza alafu bibi he hmm. mzee wake akikataa hmm. atakaa na huyo huyo bibi huyo bibi mmoja hey. mwanamke akipatikana mm. ameenda nje ya ndoa yake nini ilikuwa ikifanyika eh hata sijui atarudishwa kwao eh hakuna hata kesi wasamehe hakuna mm. unarudishwa kwenu na mwanaume akienda nje ya ndoa sasa wanaume unajua walikuwa kama malikia wenyewe wafuatiliu na wamama eh, eh ni ngumu hao kwa huko jangwani wanafanya vile wanataka eh mzee anafanya vile anataka wezi mlazimisha wewe umeolewa? Mm. Eh, hey, uko chini ya sheria. Kwa hivyo wanawake walikuwa wako walikuwa wako chini. Hawana hata hawezi ah, ongea. Ah, walikuwa wamefinyiliwa. Sasa hii ndio wanawake wameamka. Na sasa mwanamke akifika mahali asikie ndo yake imemchosha. Anataka kutoka. Divorce, yani sasa hii tuita divorce. Mm. Anataka waachane na mme wake. Mm. Walikuwa akifanyaje? Lazima ueleze sababu. Na hiyo sidhani kama inakubalika. Haiko inakubalika mpaka itafutwe sababu na sijui kama inakuwa rahisi shida ni nini kama bwana ndo mwenye makosa atakalishwa na wazee wenzake arekebishwe na kama mama ndo mwenye makosa atakalishwa na wenzake arekebishwe lakini hakuna divorce ah hiyo ya kuachana eti yasemi anatoka kwa ndoa ah sasa mm. iki chakula mm. unajua kikiwa tayari aje ama bado tuendelea tu kuponda iki, ta, iki chakula hivi ni tayari hivi ni tayari eh hivi ni tayari na iki haya kimanga kilikuwa mm. kinaliwa wakati upi ama unaweza kula wakati wote kimanga ni chakula unaweza kula wakati wote mm. mm. bora ukuwe na mhogo eh marage e. chakula ambayo inapenda kuliwa wakati wa kama wakati wa harusi mm -hmm. naoza saidi mna mna sherehe ni pure 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 sasa ni nini pure ni chakula huwa inatengenezwa maharagwe hmm. na mahindi hmm. yale yaliyobondwa okay eh hey. ina yenyewe inasongwa inakuwa ngumu hivi hivi mm -hmm. hey. sasa juu umeniambia kiko tayari hmm. iki mnakula na nini kando iki hmm. iki unakula na kachumbari na kachumbari hey. Unaweza kachumbari. Na 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 pale kuna kitu jikoni nini iko hapo? Pale jikoni mm. ni chai. Ni chai. Ile ni chai. Mm. Ambapo ni maji kwa majani, alafu kuna hiyo majani imewekwa hapo mm. ni majani ya ladha. Inafanya Maji. chai inakuwa na ladha tamu inaitwa mrugundia. Mru? Mrugundia. Ai nyinyi mna majina magumu. Mrugundia. Mrugu. Mi hata hiyo siwezi kusema. Mrugundia. Eh, hey, mrugundia. Eh, hey, sio umesema. Mrugundia. Eh. Hey. 
Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio sasa chai ya kiasili. Eh hii ndio chai ya kiasili akitaita. Hata ukiina utaisikia utamu wake. Mm. Eh. Sasa una vile ambavyo umenionyesha chakula zenu za kitamaduni. Mm. Nataka nionyeshe zangu za kisasa. Sawa. Alafu mniambie mm. tunapenda kipi? Bado mwapenda chenyu ama mwapenda chakula cha kisasa? Unajua siku hizi watu wampenda yaitwa fast food chakula tamu lakini ndozo ambazo wanasema twala alafu twanenepa e. lakini ni tamu zaidi e. sasa nataka mniambie leo kama ni tamu ama watu tu wana exaggerate hakuna utamu ambao uko hapo e. after mashing the kimanga to perfection and getting the women's approval it was now time for me to throw it down in the kitchen i'm not a professional chef but i mean i try i'm going to make them loaded hot dogs some call them bowers but you know loaded hot dogs so what i'm going to need for this i have my vienna over here i'm going to uh, use some bacon i am going to use white onions this garlic i have my buns over here i have my black pepper i have my paprika i have my tomato sauce i have my mustard i have my honey and of course some oil you know what they say when you go to Rome do what the Romans do so don't judge to kokijijini and then i'm also going to use this to cut my onions ju sijazoea ya mkono so don't judge me usha yona vitu kama hivi unajua viona kwanza hii sijui ni nini hii ujui nani anajua hii ni nini amjui eh tomato sauce hii hapa mm ni nyama eh si ya kushaga ni inaitwa bacon bacon lakini mtoka kwa pork ni pork eh kwa nguruwe eh kwa hivyo mko tayari kuanza mshanionyesha chenu now it's my time mtaka muonje chumvi vya mhoi oh sasa hii ni test kuona kama niko ready Aya, na nakumbuka ukiniambia kuwa wakati wa kitambo na saa hii mambo yamebadilika si ndio mm -hmm. sasa saa hii waweza sema mwanamke kwa kitaita nani ukiulizwa wewe mwanamke kwa kitaita nani saa hii mm. saa hii majukumu yake mm. mwanamke mm. ni kuwa anaweza fanya kazi yoyote mm -hmm. anaweza fanya kazi ya nyumbani mm. na anaweza fanya kazi ofisini mm -hmm. eh kwa hivyo sasa hii mambo yamebadilika kabisa. Yamebadilika. Kutunza bado mwatunza ama sasa tunaweza waibia? Hapana. Tutawatunza hivyo mm. hivyo. Kwa hivyo tuwezi waibia mabwana. <laughs> Tutawatunza hivyo hivyo. Kabisa. Eh. Aya, ulikuwa umesema kitambo watoto hawako especially wa kike hawako wanaenda shule. Eh. Aya, saa hii wanaenda? Eh, wanaenda. Na yule ambaye hampeleki nini cha mfanyikia? Yule ambaye hampeleki mtoto wake. Ni, ni asara ndio itamfanyikia maana mm kama mtoto watoto wa kike sahi tunaona kwanza watoto wa kike sahi ndo wanasaidia wazazi. Mm -hmm. Unakuta familia imelemewa, haina uwezo lakini inasomesha mtoto wao kishida. Mm -hmm. After amesoma ile mtoto anakuja kuwa na bidii mm -hmm. na anapata kazi, unaona amebadilisha maisha ya wazazi wake. Unajapo umesema ni kweli, maana ke usikia watu wakisema mtoto wa kiume anaweza sahau mzazi, mm -hmm. lakini wa kike hai si rahisi. Hata ende wapi? Mm -hmm. Kuna mali nilikuwa naona wakisema wanaume sahi wa, wa, wakitaita hawataki kuoa. Ni kwa sababu sahi mme sasa mnataka kujisimamia ama shida inaweza kuwa wapi? Pale wanakataa kuoa hmm. ni kama tu wanaogopa majukumu. Unajua sasa kama sahi unaambiwa mtoto lazima asome, hmm. amalize primary hmm. na akimaliza primary lazima aende high school. Uh -huh. Na akitoka high school mtoto anakwambia anataka kwenda college. Uh -huh. Unaona? Sasa wanaume saa zingine wanaogopa hayo majukumu nasikia kijana anasema hai mimi sitaki kuoa. Mm -hmm. Hataki kuoa kwa sababu anajua ile majukumu ya kulea yule bibi na familia. Yeah. Eh anamtegemea yeye. Kwa hivyo ni majukumu wanaogopa. Ni majukumu wanaogopa. Mm. Eh. Unapenda mziki? Eh naipenda sana. Kwa nini unaipenda sana? Naipenda. Mm kwa sababu unajua hii ngoma ilikuwa ikichezwa zamani mm. kuna ile morali motisha mm. inaingia mpaka una unafanya vitu bila kujielewa mm. unapurukuka chini pukuru 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 na ukotoa unaweka maji unafanywa nini kwa sababu umeshikwa na nini 
na ile kuna morali ilikuwa inashika mtu ya, ki, ya kitamaduni unaona mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sasa mimi wakati nikicheza mm-hmm. hizi ngoma nilikuwa nacheza tu hiyo mm-hmm. lakini afta kuwa mtu mzima mm-hmm. ndivyo anza kucheza hii sasa kama kutafuta mapato ndo nikazuia nikawa namkemea huyo shetani atoke kwenye akili yangu nikicheza hivi siwezi purukuka ile eh? mm. kwa hivyo iko kwa ni kama mtu anakuwa post hiyo amko ana kama ni mazimu hapana yeah. hatukoona ni mazimu tulikuwa tunaita tu ni, ni pepo na lazima ishike mtu kama ako nayo mm-hmm. eh na ilikuwa inaenda na nyimbo yake mi kunaweza pigwa nyimbo nyingine mm-hmm. nisikurupuke mm-hmm. akurupuke mwingine mm-hmm. ikipigwa yangu ile ambaye na, inaamsha ile shetani wangu mm-hmm. na naweka chini naanza kurupuka mtu anashindwa huyu mpaka tukawa tunajulikana huyu ngoma yake nyimbo yake ni nyimbo fulani mwimbieni hiyo nyimbo mm-hmm. angalau acheze asikia mika mm-hmm. sawa na nani anatunga hizo wimbo hizi wimbo hizi tulizikuta zikiimbwa na mababu Oh, na ziliimbwa kupitia maneno yale yanafanyika. Mm. Eh. Oh, kulingana na mambo ambayo yanafanyika. Eh, kwa eh, 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 eh. Ya zamani ndio wanatunga hii, wakitunga hii nyingine, wanatunga mm. hii, wakitunga hii nyingine. Paka zikatimia ngoma za watu. Watu ni muone hizo nini zenu ni kubwa hizo drums. Mm. Nani ambaye yatengeneza? Kuna wazee huwa wanatengeneza mafundi wenyewe. Eh. Hey. Hey. Azwa leme yangi kubeba naziona ni kubwa zile. Hizi. Hizi mm. sasa hivi kutuambia kazi kwa matate sasa hivi tunabandika kichwani na tunafika. <laughs> Mradi tujue tu kuna sumni. Eh. Hey. Hey, kama kuna senti. Mm. Ah. Ndio ndio. Eh. Yeah. Amkawi. Ah. Hizi si nzito. <coughs> Unasema ngoma zilikuwa zinatungwa kulingana na wakati. Mm. Kwa hivyo mtu akizaliwa kuna ngoma ambayo yachezwe. Eh. Hey. Kuna nyimbo zilikuwa zinazinatungwa. Mm. Nyimbo inatungwa ya huyo mtoto kuzaliwa. Mm. <laughs> Kwa mfano kama jua kali unaona kama sasa hii msimu. Huu mm. msimu ni mkali huu. Mm. Alafu watu wameenda mahali mm. wamekosa hata maji ya kunwa au wamekosa hata chakula chakula. Mm. Wanatengeneza nyimbo ya hiyo sehemu walienda wakakosa chakula chakula. Mm-hmm. Wanaitunga. Wanasema mahali fulani pako na ugumu sana ukienda hata chakula ya kula hakuna. Mm-hmm. Eh. Kwa hivyo pia misimu si she, si sherehe peke yake bali pia misimu. Mm. Mm. I think natume ule moto wenu na kuna shida. Seme ile siku umemkosea bwanako alafu akuchape. Unatoka ama unafanya nini? Unamwomba msamaha. Ati unamwomba msamaha? Nisamee sitarudia tena mme wangu. Na yeye ndio ameku na yeye ndio amekuchapa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nae ndo amekuchapa. Sio, unataka ufanye nini? Umchape na yeye. Si utoke. Utoke ndo wapi? Na wewe ni bibi ya watu. Surudi kwenu. Kwani ukafanya nini? Kitanda yako ilingolewa ikatupwa nje. <laughs> <laughs> Unarudi kwani kufanya nini? Sasa ni uvumilie kabisa. Eh. Sio nitoka nyumbani ukasema naenda kuolewa. Eh. Hey. Eh. Hey. Hey. Na wakati wako leo uliambiwa ukavumilia mume wako eh umtunze mm. umheshimu eh mm. haya. Unaenda kutulia kama umemkosea akakutuanga unamwambia nisamee mume wangu sitarudia. <laughs> na mwanamke anaweza chapa mwanamke. Na unapiga magoti kabisa. Unapiga. Unapiga magoti umwambie msamaha. Sasa kuna haki za wakina mama, haki za wakina baba. Mm. Lakini zamani ukichapa na bwanako unavumilia unaomba msamaha. Samee mm. kama mm. kweli umekosa umba msamao. Samee mume wangu. Maisha ya songe. We? Eh, Mi hapo hapo ni mshtuyo umetandikwa umetandikwa sasa ndo unachapwa mtoto sasa. Unachapwa mtoto. Unachapwa mtoto sasa. Unachapwa kama mtoto. Eh kama wewe ni umeleta ujinga wako na unataka kujifanya we mkosaji. Unatandikwa mtoto sasa. Na sasa unatandikwa mwanake umefanya nini? Unaakwa mimba. Oh. Ndio tulia akili. Eh hey, unajoi kiki Kiswahili cha nkanganya. <laughs> Hebu <laughs> unachapwa na unatiwa mimba. Yeah. Kama umemkosea anakupiga na tena ndio sasa anakuweka mimba sasa akili yako itulie manake kichwa yako inataka kuwa wazimu. Na yeah. ile siku mume wako amekuja yuataka mm. na we utaki. Kwa nini utaki? Ati ulienda kufanya nini hapo? Kwa hiyo nyumba. <laughs> Utatoa. Hai. <laughs> 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 
Kwa hivyo hapo kupeleka kwa bwana. Sasa unakatalia ni kama sio bwana yake angekuja kukuchukua kwenu. Ningekaa basi kwenu. Hata saa hii ama hiyo ni kitambo tu. Ah, isa isa hii watu wamekuwa vichwa ngumu. Hey. Ilikuwa ni kitambo. Mm. Hey. Kwa hivyo hakuna kukataa. Hey. Hakuna kukataa. Hakuna. Umetoa wapi ruhusa hata mzee akienda kusema kwa wazee wenzake bibi yango we amenyima. Unakalishwa kiasi mbaya sana. Faini utatoa. Ati unapigwa faini? Utatoa faini eh. Hey. Kwa nini ufanye hivyo? Sasa unatoa nini? Zinategemea kile utakachoambiwa. Wewe? Yeah. Kwa sababu zina watakuruka utasema tu kumfundisha hivyo. Mm. Eh, yeah. si tulimfundisha heshima mume wake. Mm. Haya, umeolewa? Mm. Auwezi pata mtoto. Nini sasa inafanyika kutoka hapo? Umeolewa. Eh? Haswa na ndoa. Yeah. Alafu umefika kwa bwanako. Na kumbe una, hauna uwezo wa kupata mtoto. Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Eh. Lazima sasa ukae na mm. mme wako. Mm. Mpange. Mm. Kwa ume wazama, wake wa zamani nakwambia hauko na wivu. Mm. Mimi sijajaliwa kupata mtoto mme wangu yeye tafuta mke mwingine. Ambaye atanieta watoto ndani yake. Mm. Eh. Na yule mwanamke ambaye hapati mtoto Watu sasa wanamwonaje walikuwa wamtusi anaonekana kama yeye ameleta aibu ama hapana hapana hapo ana tabia hiyo wanamheshimu vile vile mm -hmm. eh yeah. alafu unajua kuna hii mentality ya watu wa Afrika kwamba nyu boma ambaye haina mtoto wa kijana mm. ama mwanamke ambaye hapati mtoto wa kijana mm. ye yeah, anaonekana kama si mtu kwa wataita pia kuko hivyo Ilikuwa hivyo zamani walikuwa unajua waume walikuwa nataka watoto wa kivulana wakivlana. wa kivulana mtoto wa kisichana alikuwa anaonekana huyu huyu mm. ni mali tu hizi ni mali ni mali tu tunatarajia mtoto wa kisichana walikuwa anatarajia ni mali maana yake wanajua yule mtoto wa kisichana mm. haizi kwenda fanya kazi mahali mm. wala hata ajiriwa mahali huyu mm. ni wafungojea kuolewa kwa hivyo kama wewe uwezi pata kijana pia unatafuta mke kama kunaenda aje itatumi itabidi ifanyike hivyo kama we mama umezaa watoto wa kisichana peke yake itakubidi mkae chini na bwanako mzungumze mm. mtafute mke utafute mke mwenzako au bwana atafute mke mwingine mm. ili muweze kupata mtoto wa kivulana ah sahi sasa chakula chetu kimeshakuwa tayari cha kienyeji na cha na cha zamani mm. cha kitamaduni mm. kwa hivyo chakula kikiwa mezani lazima tuweke Mungu mbele tuombe chakula mm. Victoria na wewe tuombe chakula hiki Tunyamaze tuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi tunasema ni asante asante kwa chakula tulicho tubariki tumekeka mbele yako Baba tunapoendelea kukitumia kitufae tupatie nguvu na uzima kutoka kwako Amen. Amen. Kwa la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Amen. Na tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Karibuni kwa chakula. Ah Victoria, umeniona nikiandaa chakula changu. Una maoni gani? Mimi jambo la kwanza cha kushangaza mimi umetuandalia mm. chakula kizuri sana cha kigeni, cha kizungu. Nyama leo naona twala na mkate na sisi kwetu twala nyama na sima hivi naona hizo mboga za kulia na sima mm. lakini sasa naona umetuandalia mkate jamani mwanangu mboi mkate ningekuwa ni kunywa na chai lakini leo nala mkate na nyama ehe sima ajabu hayo haya <laughs> cha kushangaza kingine tena nimeona asali tumezo ya kuila na mkate tupake mkate tukiupata kibahati mm. ama tuko hoeko hoe tunywe asali ni dao Leo asali ninaiona umekaanga nayo vitunguu. Na sikitika mwanangu lakini naona ninafu bora mmekuja. Tukajua asali kumbe naweza kukaanga nayo chakula. Mkushukuru. <laughs> 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 Mtu akiwapa tena mtazila hiyo chakula mtakula tena 
Mchamu sana. Sasa mchakula hicho ama mchakula chenu? Vyote. Mchakula vyote. <laughs> Lakini hivi tutakula hivi kwa, kwa sababu ya utamu. Mm. Lakini hii chakula haijengi mwili, mifupa, nyama mm. kama hii ya kienyeji. Mm. Hii yatengeneza mafuta tu na utamu hapa. Hii ni ya mafuta na utamu. Eh. Hey. Lakini hii ni ya nguvu. Eh. Hey. Na nini nguvu? Ni nguvu na kutengeneza mifupa inakuwa na nguvu. Mm. Ani hii chakula kienyeji ina nguvu zaidi kushinda hii. Mm. Hey. Mm. Now guys, I've already fed them my food. Um, they've loved it but they've said hiyo watakula tuje utamu but not for the energy. So now it's our turn to taste their food and give feedback. Uh -huh. no, Aha. Hey, tasty. Yeah. Inakaa tamu. Haya sasa yeah. na uma. una ye. Yeah. Alafu yeah. na kachumbari. Na kachumbari. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Twende kazi. Na nyi hula na mkono. Eh, yeah. yeah. tunakula kana mkono. Yeah. Okay, dunge nyi zangu. Mkono best. Okay. Mkono best. Yeah. <laughs> Eh, <laughs> 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 Kama ingekuwa na pilipili songea mama. Songea. Alafu sasa hii ukishakula na hii, alafu uchukue hii na rangi sasa. Uone mwenyewe. Kondo mmo unakula na chai. So hii ni mkono tu. Eh hiyo ni mkono. So umeosha mkono mama. Umeosha mama. Ah sawa karibu. Ashukrani. So nikaa tu ugali na mboga. Eh eh. Hiyo ni ugali na. Dofia hapo sasa. Eh hiyo matunda baadaye. Inika. Bora. Je, <laughs> 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 with our bellies full, we decided to put the energy into good use, and what better way to do it than dancing? The women showcased their craft wholeheartedly, and I had no other choice but to join them. We shook our bodies to every bit of the drum. This dance might look easy, but trust me, it was not.
How was your day with the Taita women? I think that was one of the best days of my life. The way that we just interacted. They told me about their culture. We cooked, we danced. And they were so kind that these things that they had put in their tea. Before we left, because we loved that tea so much, they gave me some of them. They called it Murugundia. It's like lemon grass. And I think I'll just appreciate their kindness and hospitality yeah for a very long time i'll not forget that for as long as i live and the dances hey god i honestly don't know how those women do it yes i enjoyed it but my feet were hurting like i had to keep stopping in between to take some breath and then, like when we were talking they were telling me that sometimes they go to an event and they can literally do that for an hour and we were talking to our guide and he was telling us that some of these women are actually widows, so this is what they do for a living. Because um, Voi is a very dry place, so um, people can't do farming, so people have to look for other ways to make money. So that's their way, and uh, they've embraced it. And the fact that they did it with so much happiness, because like, we just got there from my room, I was feeling tired, but immediately I just like, got in there. My energy and my vibe changed. And then when we were cooking, because they did their traditional food and I did my version, they were so anxious, they wanted to help me out. Man, I don't know, that was really amazing. And the feedback was amazing. I'm honestly really uh, glad that I went there because this was one of a kind experience. I suggest that if you're looking for a place to actually go visit, you should go to Taita. And the women, they do not age. Like we just met an 84 year old woman looking like a 40 year old. So the jeans are gonna be good. Make sure you visit them. And about the vehicle? The vehicle that we had. Huh? Have I ever been on a Ford Ranger before? No. This was my first time. Do I regret it? Hell no. Cause man, that vehicle is beautiful. That's the one you always say when I grow up. This is what I want. It was really amazing. The fact that we were going and it was so hilly, it was our first time there. And we did not even stop in one place. We just kept going, going. And um, where we went to sleep, it was literally at the top of a hill. And we kept maneuvering like that road. looked like a snake because it was... It had so many corners. But did we stop? Hell no. Why did we stop when we have a Ford Ranger? 4x4, 2016. And I want to give a special and huge shout out to the team that gets to do this with me. It literally takes a whole village. Our super producer, our amazing, amazing Lynn Googie, our director and camera person. That guy is not called legend, legendary for no reason, Edwin Ochien. Thank you so much. For even believing in me and putting your best foot forward. I will also want to thank our editors. Kev, Sam and the new addition to the team Edgar. I want to thank you guys so much. These are literally the guys who now, this is now the end process. They are the ones who make it beautiful. Okay. And as you can see. Niko Kwaoshen. So they get to enjoy this uh, morning. Also want to thank everyone who's gonna watch this episode. I hope that you've learned something about the data culture. Yeah, and that you've taken something from it. Let's embrace our culture. Let's stop leaving it behind. Cause I mean, culture is what makes us who we are.